believe me. You ask too much, my darling. We are eternally caught in this unending battle. Our sex have fought for thousands of years. Nothing we say here today will alter that path, Mirak. I think you are wrong on that. You sent her away. You destroyed her. Nonsense. You take too much to heart, Melvina. You're not aware of the deeper threat to the realm. You do not see what has been created. We have nothing to discuss. Go back to your hovel. There is much we have to discuss. Do you not have wine to offer your guests? Surely you have the finest reds in the realm, Melvina. There is little I forget. Much better. Come. We shall have a civil conversation, unlike our ancestors. I'm impressed, my dear. There was a time you would have thought I placed poison in it. Even you are not that brazen. Besides, you'd never escape alive. Enough, Maydark. Come now. The Grand Phoenix has died. I have heard that rumor. Oh, trust me, it is no rumor. But I've seen it with my own eyes. Did you commit this act? And the Grand Phoenix was not counted amongst your friends. Regardless, killing the Phoenix will only make him rise again through the ashes. Seems a pointless act. Yes, but he leaves great power behind as he dies. Tell me, Mel, have you achieved your dream of the Helios? Is the realm magic in harmony with the trees and flowers? And I do forget. And have you achieved your power to be certain that you rule over all? Well, ruling all may be a bit out of reach. The giants of the Elfwood Mountains will succumb to no leader. You are wasting my time. I assure you, it is not I, but rather you, Melvina, who wastes time. You do not think before you act. Never have. I did what was best, and the only option I had. That is the problem. You limit your options. You have so many, yet you do not see. Leave, Maydark. You are not welcome here. Then you should not have agreed to this meeting, my dear. Well, I was curious. I needed to know if it was you who unleashed the Harbinger spell. And now I do. You know nothing. There are whispers in your court, as well as mine. The barriers between the sects have been breached. What do you speak? Traitors, my dear. It is not possible. Possible, and most certainly probable. I have seen the signs of darkness. The past never rests.
Any luck? The symbol. It is not like in my dreams. It is this. A dream catcher. A dream catcher? What is it? <laughs> it's supposed to catch your dreams. I got one from Dustin a few years back. He was really into it. Why? Why? I don't know. He likes to go to psychic fairs and things. He said he likes to watch the palm readers, even though he's never got his palm read. He said they were all frauds. I meant, why catch dreams? Oh, sorry. I really don't know, honey. I'm not that into it. You know, when I was a kid, there was this old woman who lived near the orphanage. I think she was a gypsy or something. All the kids would make fun of her, you know, pick on her and stuff. I would tell them to stop. She told me I was different, you know, not like the others. She was so nice. God, she used to make these really good pastries. She was special to you. I don't know. I mean, she was an old woman who didn't have anyone. No big deal. I think it's great that you're learning about the magic. And I think it's really weird I just used magic in a sentence. <laughs> the dream catcher! Do you think it's something from my past? It's not dark. It's it's not like the magic that happened with Mr. Summers. Honey, I mean, honey, it's... honey. I really need to be on time for this client. Maybe I'm getting better. Maybe. <laughs> See ya. Oh yeah, Jenny. I have had a lot of boyfriends, mostly evil. But trust me, when it comes to boyfriends, I am a major loser. Well, I think you're wonderful. You're kind and, and compassionate and understanding. Oh, that's true. I am all those things. I'm also shallow, but I think that's what Dustin likes. I cannot remember my real name. I think you're fine. When I first came to this town, I wasn't alone. I mean, I wasn't with Dustin. His name was Rick. What happened? Rick got bored, found someone else. Someone who didn't text him all the time or surprise him at his work. Was Rick taken away by someone? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I gotta be honest, Jenny. You make everything sound like it's out of a movie. I like you. We really do. And I am so glad we're friends. But you have this sort of dramatic the world's gonna end sort of face on, just all the time. And trust me, nothing that dramatic ever happens here. It's just a small town that takes 20 minutes to get to the mall. End of the world's not really our style. Why do I do the things I do then? 
I mean, they do not seem like normal girl things. No? Well, what do you do? Not normal, right? Oh my god! That is so cool! How are you doing that? Is, is it lasers? Magic? <laughs> you are the coolest friend ever! What else can you do? Well, glyphs mostly. What are glyphs? They're these, um, the, these images that, that I get in, in my head. Okay, so like head visions. Jenny. Yes. No. Jenny. Please, please, please don't leave Jenny. me. Jenny! Oh God. I really wish these dreams of yours would stop. Maybe... Maybe I need them. They seem to be getting more and more disturbing. You need them? I want to know, James. I want to know who William is. He seems important to me. Like a... Like a... a boyfriend? Right? No. Oh. Like a... A friend. I'm sorry. I had no right to. I do not think you do. The Harbinger! <laughs>